February is Black History Month, and tonight we're highlighting the heroes of yesterday and the first responders of tomorrow. And WGN's Patrick Elwood takes an in-depth look at the Black Fire Brigade. It's all about helping young black men and women move in the right direction. The Black Fire Brigade launches careers in the fire service. That mission of love pays dividends personally and professionally. Fib on the monitor, charge at 200. Go ahead, continue CPR to be charged up. It once was known as Engine 61. All right, stop CPR. Everybody clear. Today, situated at 53rd and Wabash. It's new CPR. I'm going to switch all back. It houses the Chicago African American Firefighters Museum and the Black Firefighter Brigade. This is Engine Company 21. This is the this is the first blacks that were ever hired on the Chicago Fire Department, and they all had to work in one house, and that one house was Engine Company 21. While it is steeped in the history of yesterday, honoring the first African Americans who came on the fire department 150 years ago, its present day mission is training the firefighters and paramedics of tomorrow. My direct family, um, they've told me, you know, go for it if that's what you want to do. Enrollees range in age from 18 to 30. Javar Murphy, who was once homeless not so long ago, is part of the current class, which he kept a secret, his homelessness, even while enrolled here. To be in the state that I was in, it was, it was um, embarrassing. And as a child, he and his cousins survived a fire. I would like to be a firefighter because of additional trauma. I mean, I, I've experienced things in my life where um, my, my uncle's trailer was burnt down to the ground while me and my cousins were trying to get out of it. We climbed out of uh, one of the small windows on the door. Dude, and, how old were you? Seven, eight. As he waits to take the firefighter's exam. Currently just waiting on the, the test. Um, I got my EMT license. Um, I also received my paramedic uh, license. He now works in the medical field. He and the others here get EMT and firefighter training under the direction of Lieutenant Quentin Curtis, president and founder of the Black Fire Brigade. What drew me to this job, I was in Cabrini and I'm sitting there one day and, I, and a fire truck pulls up and I look and turn and there's a big black guy get off the fire truck. And we all stopped and looked because it was the first time we had ever really seen a black fireman. And at that point, I decided that's what I wanted to do in life. But he's simply known as Lieutenant Q, a CFD veteran. December 21st, 1872. 1872 was when the first black firefighters started in the Chicago Fire Department. Presently, the objective is twofold, he says. Get at-risk young black men and women positive direction. And along the way, increase the numbers within the active duty ranks of minorities, including women, on the Chicago Fire Department. This is a community-based organization designed to reduce violence inside the city. We take the kids off the street, we bring them inside this organization, and we teach them to become first responder. Our motto is, if you teach a kid to save a life, they'll be less likely to take one. During his 34 years on the job, Lieutenant Q has been assigned to just about every smoky, gritty, and icy detail on the CFD. The job of a firefighter is not easy for anyone, but Lieutenant Q had even more pressure on him, facing racism within his own ranks at times, but like many of his predecessors, he willed himself to rise above and succeed. There's always going to be pushback um, until we make those final changes. There was pushback then. You got to remember, in 1872, Engine 21 was the first uh, all-black firehouse. You can, if you were black, you could only work at Engine Company 21. But when you look at their history, they were the busiest, the fastest. They made more rescues than any fire company in the city of Chicago. In November, Lieutenant Q will retire and dedicate himself full time to this cause and this place and increasing the number of African Americans within the ranks. Good paying jobs, he says, is what it's pretty much all about. People say, you know, crime is, is you know, what are we going to do? I said, we can change crime if we change the economic platform in the black community. You know, we're not going to incarcerate ourselves out of this. So when they leave here, these young men and women will be ready, willing, and able. Ten years from now, I see myself on the Chicago Fire Department, hopefully uh, one of the officers. Like Jabre Carter. Initially, I want to be a Chicago police officer, but I think it'll be more effective if I'm on a uh, 
ambulance side, on the fire department side. The next generation is ready to make a career of public service to us. All I knew was he was a superhero and he was like this type of like awesome firefighter and I continue to hear great stories. Like Ryan Blackman, whose father Eugene Jr. died in the line of duty in a rescue attempt from the Little Calumet River back in May of 1998. Big boost to fill, but I wear a size 11 and a half, so. <laughs> When we tend to see people who have a well standing in life or a nice car or even if it's nice shoes on, a lot of questions that the first question that pops in mind, at least for myself when I was younger, is like, well, what do you do for work? You know, like, what do you do? Or what's your profession? What's your career? And I want to be able to tell somebody that I'm, I'm a hero, man. I'm a firefighter. Teamwork, leadership, responsibility, and commitment, those are the pillars for which the training is built on. The Black Fire Brigade prides itself as one of, if not the best, crime reduction program in the state. Patrick Elwood, WGN News.